Good evening and a warm welcome from us, myself, Stanley, um, and also my wife. God, and good night. Dan sê, jy kan my praat. Ja, ek bedien vanavond in Afrikaans. Baie welkom hier by die dakgemeente. Hier op Facebook loof die heren, ons is hier in Pretoria, in Montana, by Roland en Rea, ons saai vanavond van hier af uit. En jy is baie welkom vanavond saam met ons. Wees deel van die gesprek, ons het vanavond so lekker onderwerp waar ons ons praat. En as die mense lekker sekerheid kan hier oor baie dinge, dan raak die mense geestike lewe somme baie makkeliker. So baie welkom en wees deel van alles loof die heren. Good evening and a warm welcome from us, myself Stanley. I'll be ministering and speaking to you in English this evening, not Afrikaans. My wife will be ministering in Afrikaans. Now we are broadcasting live from Montana, Pretoria, from Roland and Ria's house. Yeah, in Pretoria, Gauteng, South Africa. And uh, as, you are tune, as you are busy tuning in, please share the message there to your timeline here yeah, on Facebook. We are live on Facebook Wednesday evening, 15 November 2023. Praise the name of the Lord. Can you believe we are uh, almost half, we are halfway in November 2023. And um, if the Lord willing, um, praise the name of the Lord. We are busy uh, on our road trip here in Gauteng, uh, visiting our congregation members uh, and also new people, new um, converts yeah. and family of our existing congregation and just having fellowship with each other, just visiting them, encouraging them, yes. um, uh, answering questions, praying with them, etc., um, so that the Lord can deliver us and set us free so that we can be ambassadors and disciples yes. for His kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are in Gauteng. We've already been as far as Middelburg, Rustenburg, Brits, Van Abel Park. We're going to end our road there as well. But we're still going to go to the Free State, Bloemfontein and Poch of Sturm. So that is also still lying ahead. If the Lord willing, we're going to visit there and go there as well. And we just praise the Lord for the Amen. means He has provided yes. so that we can get to all the people necessary. Uh, we've been at Stofberg as well. That is just about half an hour or so. No, almost an hour outside of Middelburg. That's also in the Mupamalanga province here in South Africa. And we just want to worship and praise Amen. the Lord for the doors praise that He's you. opening and answers that we receive. And as we are ministering and having fellowship with our fellow brothers and sisters, even you converts people that doesn't know the Lord, we also receive and get answers and our own heart Amen. gets set free. And, 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 and this is what we want to share with you this evening. Yes. Now, um, as we are talking to people, as we are having fellowship and uh, just having a great time in the Lord with each one, um, there's a lot of uh, things that comes up, a lot of topics, a lot of questions, a um, lot of fears, a lot of, lot of a lot of things. Yes, amen. <laughs> and then the Lord guides us and we receive wisdom. And um, so we want to share some of those things uh, this evening with you as well. Uh, what we're going to minister on tonight is things that we've already talked to and spoken to people that we've been visiting and um we want to share with you what Amen. we are talking about and what answers people are getting, etc. Yes. So that you can also be filled in uh, if we can't get to your home and your house uh, this time, maybe a uh, next time. And if the Lord willing, obviously we're going to uh, visit some of our other congregation members in the other uh, parts of our country as well. It's, a, it's an immense privilege Amen. for that. We are called to do that. God has called us and also provides for us so that we can minister the gospel as far and wide as possible. And uh, my wife and myself, we are also praying and believing the Lord and you must pray with us only yes. according to His will. Amen. We can just present our case to the Lord and ask the Lord if it is in our hearts and maybe because there are congregation members of us overseas as well from South Africa overseas. And we really want to visit them as well yes. and maybe reach out to their community with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So pray with us so that the Lord can also make a way there. Uh, we've got Etienne there in America. We've got Naomi 
and um, Stefan. Stefan in Portugal. And obviously we know when you go there, uh, um, you are presented with so many other people and so you can go from house to house and minister and visit and yes. pre uh, preach and minister the gospel. Uh, sometimes it, it only needs, there only needs to be one person Amen. in a city, in a town, so that the Lord can open so many other doors as well. So we believe Thanks, the Lord yeah. for that. We are in prayer for that as well. Um, if it's not now, if it's not over six months or a year, we, we are just going as the Lord are opening doors and providing for us. Praise the Lord, my man. It is so amazing that the Lord for us so much is so open. Many people are so hard to so open for us to be able to find. It is not amazing to see us love the Lord there. Every house that is in is so welcome. Yes. We are literally on your hands. So we love the Lord for every one, for every one, for every one, for every one that is so hard to open. Yes, amen. You will never know what it means for us in our hearts. Is vol van vreugde en blijdschap en dankbaarheid vanavond. Dat die Heere krachtig so vir ons bly deurbreek en help en voorsien en uitsorteer. En Daniel is een kar wat ons meer rondrui en ach al die dinge elke wat sy hart het oop is om ons wel te help in hierdie pad. Om te sê Heere, daar is dalk net nog een siel, nog yes, net nog amen. een siel wat tot bekering kan kom, wat gehelp kan word. Amen. En die Heere het al so mooi gewerk op die trip. Yes. Um, al so veel siele gereed, verlossing gebring, antwoorde gebring, zekerheid gebring. En ons besef hoe geweldig belangrijk het is om in elke sy huis te, tyd te spandeer. So ons loof die Heere vir elke huis, die Heere wat oopgaan, waar ons kan ingaan, waar ons een bykie kan saamkeir, al is dit net vir die dagje, al is dit net vir die tydkie, um, sê ons net vir die Heere baie dankie vanavond, en vir elkeen in die gemeente, en jy wat nie op hierdie stadium in Gauteng is, jy wat yes. vir ons bid, ons weer, ons verskrikkelijk baie gebede, ons voel dit, ons hervaar dit, ons beleef dit, anders sal ons nie hierdoor kan kom nie. Yes. Loof die Heere, en ons wil nie die Heere vanavond baie loof en prijs, halleluja. Yes, we are so privileged, every house we are going, to, we went to, uh, their hearts and minds and uh, life was just open to us and they received, of, uh, received us with such great joy yes. and um, uh, we just want to worship the Lord for that as well that we want to thank you as our brothers and sisters that are inviting us and that are so warm not hot, not cold Nice warm. and warm. Comfortable. Warm, comfortable. comfortable. <laughs> warm is comfortable. Yes. Yes, we are comfortable in yeah, your company. Yeah, that's what we experience. Yes. yes. We experience that. Now, tonight we're going to talk about intimidation. Now, that's a topic that frequently comes to mind and really comes to us when we visit people, um, brothers and sisters in Christ, what to do with things around us that intimidate us yeah. and we sometimes don't think of intimidation in certain certain situations but i think the lord can help us tonight to understand something about our spiritual life yes. and obviously our relationship towards not just our brothers and sisters but especially towards those that are not saved friends family work colleagues etc because there is usually is there where the intimidation lies and um, we want to talk tonight about this as we have ministered and spoken and had had fellowship with brothers and sisters already that we're already part yeah uh, that we already visited <laughs> yes sorry for that yeah so, sir. yeah i will it net gaan afrikaans sê ons het al lekker gesels oor hierdie onderwerp van intimidasie en ek denk as ons dit van ons lekker kan verstaan in ons um, geestelike pad gaan soveel bande breek en al gaan soveel vryheid kom en swaan en ons het het al in baie huise lekker deur bedien en uitgesorteer en vraag beantwoord yes. en al die dinge en gewoonlik gaan het oor hoe trek op teenoor mense wat nie die Heere die nie, wat moet ek doen, hoe moet ek het verstaan, hoe moet ek my geestelike pad stap so in hierdie, in hierdie opzicht en ek denk vanavond as ons so lekker daar kan gesels en ons kan sekerheid kry, want ons sê vir mekaar, sjo, daar is soveel mooie dinge wat in huise uitkom, en die ander hoor dit nie, en ons het net vandag besluit, hier is dalk een saak wat in amal sy harte lekker kan deurpraat. Amen, and I, I just want to ask you as well, uh, there's a lot of people that came to the Lord, and are still coming to the Lord, and still want to sort out their lives, please uh, continue pray f to Amen. pray for us, not just for us, but most importantly, for those that uh, come that has come to the Lord, 
and it will still come to the Lord that the Lord wants to deliver. So please pray for those brothers Amen. and sisters in Christ. Yes, ons het allemaal se gebede geweldig nodig. Dat was baie waar die Heere aangeneem met die laaste tyd, um, wat nog tot wedergeboorte gaan kom, moet kom en al die dinge. En ons bly bid vir elke siel. Want baie keer is dit dat dit is die oude duivel is, ai, die, die is een mense moordernaar, hy is, um, hy is, hy is rof. So ons bid dat die Heere help, dat mense krachtig bly deurbreek, staande bly, nuchter bly, waakzaam bly, by die Heere bly, en sovoort. So dit is altyd ons harte roep, altyd net uit vir dit. Um, mense zijn ek so benauwd, wanneer iemand tot wedergeboorte gekom het, en jy moet al weggaan, dat die Heere net die persoon staande sal hou, nuchter sal hou en by hom sal hou, yes. dat um, hy nie sal wegval nie. So dit is een mense moedenaar, hy wil jou steel, hy wil sy dief, maar ons loof die Heere dat ons vir mekaar kan bid, vir die broederskap kan bid, wat nou tot een keer gekom het, dat hulle werkelijk, werkelijk sal staande bly. Amen, yes. So first we gonna open with prayer, and then from there on we gonna have fellowship with you as well. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us. Father, almost 2,000 years ago, he died so that he could overcome the works of the enemy, the works of the devil, yeah. and release soul, Father, for those who, uh, for, in, for their entire life, lived in fear for death, Father. And in our, in our day and age, yeah. Father, people has a fear for death, and, and it is, we do fear death. All men fear death, Father. Some think about it, some don't think about it. Father, in your word says the wise man thinks about his eternal life. He thinks about death. He thinks about his afterlife so that he can make decisions, Father, and decide and conduct his life in such a way so that he can enter your kingdom, Father. Because a wise man is the one who knows there is a spiritual world, who knows there is a spiritual life, Father. And the devil comes every day, his uh, father, temptation is there, the adversary, the devil, the roaring lion is there every day in this world we are living in because this world is in the control of the wicked father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we want to pray, Father, that we as your children can be uplifted tonight with this message and be set free so that we can declare the gospel of freedom, oh, declare yeah, the gospel the that sets free, the gospel that changes hearts and minds, that we can encourage each other, our own brothers and sisters, yeah, encourage yeah, yeah. one another <laughs> to stand firm and not to fall away, not to, Father, give heed to the control and the sway of the devil, Father, because his temptations are there every single day. Lord God, and in your heart there must be a change. In your heart there must be something, Father, that we need to change in your sight before you, Father, in our relationship, with our fellowship with you, my Lord. We, wanna, we must call out to thee. We must seek thee so that we can overcome in this evil and wicked generation yeah, we are living in. Yes. Father, and I ask you this evening that you will guide us, uh, that you will place, Father, uh, your word uh, by your spirit in our heart, the spirit, Father of truth, uh, yeah, the yeah. spirit of deliverance of glory and majesty so that we can speak words of truth and life, oh, uh, life that can set free, truth that can set free because we will know truth and truth will set us free. Yes. We will have fellowship with truth if we understand it, if we hear it, if we have fellowship with it, it can set us free. And I pray, Father, tonight, uh, that you will guide us and that you will lead us Absolutely. so that your glory and your power may be presented, Father, and change our heart and deliver us. Uh, we want to pray for every brother and sister that, that came to you the yeah, last time, Father. the last week, yeah, two weeks, yeah, two and a half Father. weeks, and even before that, uh, since the conference, Father, newly born, uh, children of the newly Father in your kingdom and we want to oh, pray yeah, for them uh, that Father. you will help them and that you will sustain them, that you will uplift them Absolutely. and that you will yeah, speak to them Father so that they can hold fast and that they can endure, that they can stand firm, uh, hallelujah, yeah. and that, they, that, that, that so that they can endure uh, until the end and uh, when they do, when we endure until the end and then only we will be saved father help us tonight that this message can come across Absolutely. in such a way 
that your, your children can be encouraged and be delivered and new souls can come into your Possibly. kingdom. We thank yeah. you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Christ, Amen. Now, first of all, before we're going to go over to the message, maybe we must just ask you a question. Yes. And I think most, not most, I think all of us, without exception, we sometimes, when we, when, uh, when we uh, uh, experience trouble, when we re experience resistance, especially from people around us, sinful, the sinners around us, whether it is family or work, work colleagues or just some stranger, we most of the time think that the devil are there to tempt us and to uh, trouble and upset us and bother us through that person. So if a person comes to us and he just is upset with us and maybe he's... Uh, uh, um, whatever he's doing against us and then we think the uh, um, the devil is using him to tempt me yeah. and to make me fall away and to force me to do sin I don't know if you've ever felt like that leave the tell us in the comments if you felt like that and do you believe it's the devil that are trying and to try to force you to do sin and fall away from the gospel so ja, so, as for us it's a bit Afrikaans, not what not like English, understand me. Um, the question is, as a man with so much to do, net, and I, the person do not get steady, or of three dog, um, snacks in your op, or what you call it, get far more fierce. Feel that for you, of the die, of the year, ah, year, the die will, um, basis. You have to say. You have to search the year die person. You have to search on the sun. Yes. I said it in a person who is forced to do it, to do it, to do to do it, 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 to do to it, Omdat jy kind van die Heere is om jou te vernietig. Yes. In die verlede jaar, maar nie meer nie, sê die het. <laughs> Deborah, ek beleef altyd dat jy dan achterkom wat in jou hart is, begeert is en sovoorts. Hmm. Ok, hier kom nou mooi antwoorde dier. Praat nog met ons. Baie keer voel die mens moest die duivel gebruik iemand. Al is dit een zondaar, dan voel jy jou. Ek word nou versoek dier die persoon. Yes. <laughs> ja, waar voel die mens so? Hoe voel die mens? Voel jy ook as die duivel wat voel as ek? Do you feel it's the devil that forces you to sin uh, by people standing against you and maybe uh, scolding you or getting angry at you, whatever the case might be? Ok, Paula sê die versoeking kom dalk dier die persoon, maar ek denk um, dit is die mense kies hoe jy dit gaan reageer. Kiet jy sê, ja, ek, be, um, ek het altyd so gedink, maar nou verstaan ek dat ons in die wereld is en dat daar moeilike tye wat ons moet verdra en deerdruk. Ons eie geaardhede wat na vore kom. Susan, ja, ek denk die Heere toets my en maak my sterker in die geloof, maar ja, die, dit is moeilik om sterk te staan. Ek het ook in die verlede so gedink, maar nie nou meer nie. Ek nog nie daaraan gedink nie, sê maar lees. Yes, some has thought about it. Other people say, yes, they, they, they thought that the devil was out there to get them and uh, to force them to sin, but are rejecting it, uh, uh, tempting us. Um, Angel say, nope, my vlees en my eie hart wat nog nie uitgesorteer is nie. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. So, um, when we think of it, and I, I think... Rika says, Kieska. Oh, no, can I see me? We are back online. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, so we are still busy talking about is the devil to blame that you are falling in sin and cannot overcome his works and his enticement and his temptations? Yes, uh, Rika says, Yeah, this is the anti-gerasis that you have to be able to 
Ja, dat is dat wat ons dan nog hier gekry het. So as hy so bykie antwoord het, is dit wat die duivel wat jou versoek, dier een persoon wat nog nie sy hart vir jyre gegeet en dier een sondaar, um, hoe moet ons dit verstaan? En um, dan kan jy dan vir ons so bykie antwoord gee. Het jy al gevoel, jy word versoek dier die duivel, dier een persoon? Ja, het is as if when we are doing good, and then we, sometimes we have the thing, yes, the devil is just waiting around the corner for me. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever said it. Yes. Uh, uh, if you're doing good, if you overcome for a day or two, no, but the devil is waiting for me. Yeah. Now, yeah, praise the name of the Lord. We're going to talk about this tonight. Yeah, yeah oh, means mens wat weer wil uitkom. And that's a lindy. Now, obviously, there's quite a lot of scriptures that comes to mind when it comes to temptation and the devil tempting us, etc., etc., now, we're just going to refer to a few scriptures and maybe you've got others as well, but I think the few that we're going to mention this evening will um, help us and to maybe understand or not to understand, yes. uh, is it a devil coming directly against you or what is the situation? So, Kathleen said, Francis said, Versoekings is there. Maar dit is die begeerte in jou hart wat jou laat zondag. Ja, dat is zo so awesome. Mooi. Oké, okay, nou in Matthew 4, verse 3, this is, the play, this is the instance where Jesus was uh, were led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit after being baptized by John the Baptist. And the word of God say, says the tempter came to Jesus. And that was the devil. So the tempter, the versoeker, came to Jesus. So the devil is a tempter. He does yeah. tempt us. Isn't yes. it so? I believe that it will talk. Good evening, Karen. Can you please come to my bed? I have a lot of pain in my body. I can't even get up. I can't even get up. I can't even get up. The whole time of the week, the bed is not okay. We will come to your bed. Definitely. So, when we look at Matthias 4, it's where Jesus the woods was in the woods. And when Jesus the woods was in the woods, Nadat hy dier Johannes die dooper gedoop was, het die versoeker na Jesus toegekom. En dit was die duivel. Ja. So hy is die versoeker. Nou, dit is hierdie type skrifte en gedagtes wat maak, dat ons denkt dat die duivel is hier, ons is as een versier, ja. en nou gaan hy my versoek, omdat hy iets goed gebeur het. So, this is the thing that we want to sort out. Now, also Paul wrote in 1 Thess- Thessalonians 3 verses 5, he says, he, he, he wrote to the, to, to, to the congregation there and he says, I want to come to you to see if the tempter, the tempter has come and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, made you fall in your faith. Yeah. Isn't it so? Okay, so is it by you? Yes, so it's for your first choice. Yeah, so, so, so wa, wa, Paul has schrived us, he says, I want to come to you to come to see if the versoeker Jylle dalk nie van jylle geloof of valle geraak nie. Yes. So al wat ons hier so probeer sê met die skrifte is dat Satan is die versoeker. He is the tempter that tempts. Ja. Ok? Alright. Jy is die versoeker wat versoek. Yes. And then when we read in 1 Peter 5 verses 8, it's a very popular scripture and we're going to read a few scripture, a few verses there as well. Uh, 1 Peter 5 and especially verse 8, I think this is one of the most popular scriptures in the Bible. But I want to read from verse 5 so that, just we can have, so that we can have a context in this uh, 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 portion of scripture. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourself to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He might exalt you, exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, yeah. steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Yeah. So here he says the devil is like a roaring lion, walking around, seeking whom he may devour. And we must resist him steadfastly because the entire brotherhood 
uh, suffers the same, experience the same, because yeah. tonight you might feel you are alone, but you're not alone. The yes. entire brotherhood in the world experienced similar things from the tempter, the devil, the roaring lion. Kom, sê is 1 Petrus 5 vers 9, net so wat jylle jonger is, aan die ouwer, ouwer is onderdanig wees, en amal met oot moet bekleed, en onderdanigheid aan mekaar, want God weerstaan die hoogmoedig is, maar aan die nederig is, gee hy genade. Verneder jou onder die krachtige hand van God, so dat hy jylle kan verhoog op die rechte tyd. Wow, dit is mooi. Werp al jylle bekommernisse op hom, want hy sorg vir jylle. Wees nuchter en waaksam, want jylle teestander, die duivel, loop rond soos een brillende leeuw en soek wie hy kan verslind. Hom moet jylle teestaan, stand vastig in die geloof, omdat jylle weer dat die selfde leiding opgeleef word aan jylle broederskap in die jylle wereld. So, oor ons word elkeen versoek. Ons is nie alleen nie. En baie keer voel een mens dat as jy goed gedoen het, as daar goeie dinge met jou gebeur, wat ook al, dan leer die duivel en hy wil jou net versoek, en hy wil jou nie net een kan kry, en hy wil jou geloof breek, en al die dinge, en dan um, is het asof een mens reageer op hierdie dinge. Maar as ons vanavond kan verstaan, die versoeker is daar, hy is altyd daar. Maar die woord van Heere sê so mooi, hy sê verneder jou onder die krachtige hand van God, so dat hy jou kan verhoog op die rechte tyd, so dat hy jou kan help uithelp, so dat hy jou kan uitred op die rechte tyd, en wanneer mens kan verstaan, waar oor hierdie brillende leeuw en teestander en duivel, wat so rondloop verstaan, um, is en waar oor het gaan, dan kan die mens begin oorwin. Want anders verstaan mens dit nie lekker nie, dit voel vir die mens asof net jy getarget word. Net jy as kind van die Heere um, getarget word, met die ander hoe gaan het goed, maar die duivel leef vir my in wacht. So hy was gaan vanavond so lekker hier oor gesels. Uh, so when we read the scriptures, it, uh, um, uh, and also when we read in 1 John 5, 19, 2 Corinthians 4, 4, we see that the Bible says the whole world is in under the control yeah. of the devil, and that the devil is the God of this world. It is yeah. this age. In other words, we are living in a world that are under the control of the devil. I mean, even Satan said to Jesus, this world and all his glory is given unto me, yeah. and I give it to whom I will. Because after the sin and the fall of man, the entire world be- became under the might, became under the con- uh, uh, came under the control yes. of the devil. And we are in this world and we need to understand this, that the whole world, doesn't matter if you are in church, if you are in your bathroom, if you are in your living room, if you are at work, if you are driving in your car, you are in a world that the devil is the god of this world and it is under the control of the evil one. Ja, so die, die woord sê dat um, die hele wereld leen die macht van die bose. So waar ever jy beweeg, waar, wat ever jy doen, die hele wereld leen die macht van die bose. So die duivel is nie op sekere plekke nie. Die hele wereld, oor ons waar jy is, alles wat jy doen, is jy in die wereld wat in die macht van die bose lee. Nou met die sondeval het het gebeur, dat Satan mag gekryd oor hierdie wereld, oor hierdie aarde. Yes. En dit is hoekom ons in hierdie, hierdie, hierdie wereld voel, dat ons lewe in hierdie wereld wat onder die mag van die bose is. En baie keer wil mys het uitsonder. Baie keer wil mys voel, daar is een sekere ding waar die duivel in is, of een sekere plek waar die duivel meer in is, of a, um, die duivel het meer mag oor een sekere dorp of land, of wat ook al die geval mag wees. Maar die hele wereld, le in die mag van die duivel. En as mens het so lekker kan verstaan, man, dan kom jou hart somme so lekker los en vry. Maar dan besef jy, dat oor ons, oor al, oor al, daar is die duivel, daar is die versoeking, daar is die versoeker. En dis nie net op sekere plekke, waar jou hom gaan kry nie. Yes, and I want to think, uh, I want you, I want to tell you something that you can think about. Uh, the day when you came to the Lord, okay, you came to the Lord as an individual person. Remember your work colleagues never came to the Lord. Yeah. Okay? Your family didn't come to the Lord. They weren't born again the moment when you born, were born again. You alone, when you got born again, the world stays, oh. the world full of evil. Yes. Now what happens, what happened before your spiritual rebirth? You were also in the world. You lived in the manner of the world. 
you maybe gossiped and talked and hated yeah. just as the world did the sinful things of the world. And now all of a sudden, when you became born again, the moment when you are born again, you are enlightened. The Spirit of God are in your soul. Amen. And all of a sudden, your eyes open to sin in this world. Now all of a sudden, you see sin. And the person that you talk to the day before your spiritual rebirth, whether it's a friend or family or work, work colleague, doesn't matter. Yeah. The moment when you start speaking to him after your spiritual rebirth, then all of a sudden you realize the sin in their lives as well. And that it is that at that moment when we sometimes think that the devil is using people around us to tempt us, and to destroy our faith. But we must remember the other person are still living in the manner uh, like the day before and the day before. You never realized it. Yes. You never saw it for what it was. But when you got delighted, when you, uh, when your eyes were open, your spiritual eyes were open by the power and glory of the Holy Spirit through the spiritual rebirth, then all of a sudden you see this and and the sin starts to bother you and upset you. And this is where our problem lies. And this is what I want to elaborate on this evening. Ja, so, wanneer jy tot wedergeboorte gekom het, moet jy verstaan, jy het tot wedergeboorte gekom. Nie allemaal rondom jou nie, nie al jou weewerkskollegas en familie en vriende en alles het tot wedergeboorte gekom nie, jy het. Yes. Nou, jy het ook in die lewe gelewe. Jy was deel van die sondige lewe van yes. allemaal Amen. om jou. En dit het jou nie geplaan nie, want die geest van God was nie in jou nie, daar was geen oortuiging gewees nie. So jy het aangegaan in die sonde. En die oomlik wat jy tot wedergeboorte kom en die geest van God in jou leven het, dan begin jy anders sien, ervaar, beleef. Yes. Nou sien jy allemaal sy sonde raak en ongerechtigheid en hoe hulle optree en hoe hulle yes. praat en dink en reageer en al die dinge. En dan laat ons ons intimid dier yes, dier amen. dit. Want dit voel nou vir jou. Ja, nou gebruik die duivel die persoon by my werk om my te versoek. Yes. Maar dit is net omdat jy eeuwiskielik besef, jo, dit is hoe dit lyk om een sonder te wees. Dit is hoe my leven gelijk het, voordat ek tot wedergeboorte gekom het. Yes, I mean, now the word of God says to us, now you came to the Lord and now all of a sudden you want to do good. You want to minister the gospel. You don't want to be that bad, uh, rebellious, uh, um, angry person you were before. You don't want to do the sin anymore. Now, all of a sudden, what happens now? Now you must start living as a child of God. And this is what Peter uh, wrote us. Every, and remember, the roaring lion, when you go back to work, the roaring lion is there. Amen. When you drive on the road, the roaring lion is there. When you go to the shop, the roaring lion yes. is there. It never disappeared when you came to the Lord. Yes. Now you are, and the Bible says, we are strangers and aliens in this world. Yes. And we can permit that the sin of this world and other people's attitudes and ways towards us and habits can also uh, 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 intimidate us and have control over us. Yes. And we can permit that or not commit it, permit it. And this is what Peter wrote. Therefore, we need continually, every single day, to submit under the powerful hand of God. Amen. Bring your heart, your troubles to the Lord. And He will help you to overcome in this world. Wow, that's amazing. Om daar te denk. So, wanneer jy tot wedergeboorte gekom het, dan voel dit somme vir jou. Sjo, amal moes nou al verander het. <laughs> dit is mos ons voel. En jy kyk somme na die mens en dan denk jy, oh, het hulle nie verander nie, het hulle nie tot wedergeboorte gekom. En dit is hoe mens voel, want dit is vir jou so werkelijkheid. Yes. En dit is vir jou so heerlijkheid, dat jy anders verstaan, sien, beleef, jy is dalk verlos van baie dinge in jou lewe. Yes, um, jy verstaan baie dinge meer in die lewe. Jy verstaan nou daar sy eeuwige lewe en al die dinge. En jy besef dat amal om jou is verloore, wat nog nie hulle harte vir die heren gegeet nie. En dit intimideer my 
my spaie keer, dit voel net die duivel moet soma verdwijn het, yeah. as jy tot weder geboorte kom, en wanneer mense weer met jou gesels en praat, ons het hierdie teleerstelling in jou binneste, wat het voel vir jou, jo, die hele wereld moest verander het, toe ek verander het, toe ek tot weder geboorte gekom het, moest daar net een change van allemaal gekom het, en dit is waar die ons ons laat intimideer, en waarom ons onder inzak, en nie weet eindelijk meer verder om op te treen nie, en um, mm-hmm. dan is dit wanneer ons moedeloos raak, en nie lekker verstaan, hoe dit verder werk in ons geestelike leven, hoe werk ek, hoe trek ek nou verder op, wat doen ek nou? Want ek ervaar, hierdie versoeker, ek ervaar, die mense wat nou om my is, is nog die selfde. Yes, because the main thing we understand, while we are in the world, we are in the might and the power of the devil, this roaring lion, yeah. the adversary of God. So the moment when you, are born again, you are removed spiritually from his kingdom. Yeah. And when you go back into the world, you see the world as it is. Yes. Say for instance, you, you are now born again, the next day you get to work, or whatever the case might be, or amongst family, and somebody gets angry towards you, or might slander something against you. We yeah. must remember that that sinful person, it is his character, this is who he is. And if you realize he is also, he also gets angry with other sinners as well. He also are slandering against other uh, people as well, not just you as a child of God. So then you realize it is his way. Yeah. And the moment when you realize it, 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 you get to a point where his attitude and his words cannot in- intimidate you. <coughs> as kies, ja, die sonar bly die selfde, oh, jy het nou het ek so my parreke, die sonar bly die selfde, so, of hy nou met jou lelik is, of met die ander persoon, ons vat het allemaal persoonlik, en ons voel omdat ons nou een kind van die heren is, nou is het die versoeking wat na my toe kom, maar hy treed ook op met allemaal die selfde, so die sonar bly die selfde, sy karakter, sy geaardheid, sy gesintheid, hy treed met allemaal die selfde op, en dan voel ons, maar hy moet nou anders met ons optree, yes. omdat ek nou een kind van die Heere is, yes. so ek moet nou special behandel word, anders dan voel ek slag, en ek voel um, ach, ek, dit is nou nie eens my moeite, moeite waard, en baie keer raak om ons kwaad in jou binneste, yeah. teen oor die ander persoon wat nou nog steeds met jou optree soos dat hy opgetree het, maar jy het hier al gesien nie jy was deel daarvan, jy was daar ook net so lelik gewees, en jy het ook daar slag gepraat van ander mense, en jy het ook daar slag oorgekom, en sikke dinge terwijl jy sonder was, so dit was vir jou normaal gewees, maar nou eeuwenskielik, nou sien jy dit anders, nou ervaar jy dit anders, en nou voel dit vir jou, jo, maar ek is nou een kind van die heren, hierdie persoon kan nie meer so met my praat nie, en dan, dit is wat ons strijd lee. Ja, yeah, it is as if we want special treatment, and we must remember one thing, uh, Jesus Christ says, and the word says, that tribulation and troubles comes in the whole world. Amen. It is in the whole world towards the child of God and towards the sinner. Yes. So all troubles, all woes, all uh, crises that are in the world are not just aimed against the child of God. Amen. It is there and everybody that are in that situation um, experience that. Whether you are a child of God Amen. or a sinner, it makes no difference. Ja, my man, want die drukking is op amal. Yes. Die drukking is op die kind van die Heere en op die wereld. Amal ervaar die druk. Yes. Amal ervaar um, die moeilijkheid. En die mens, bes, mens voel baie keer, jy as kind van die Heere moet dit nie ervaar nie. Dit moet nie na jou kant toe kom nie. Maar amal ervaar dit, amal beleef dit. Maar jy as kind van die Heere het het doel tenminste. <laughs> yes. En daar kan iets in jou leven gebeur met die drukking wat jy wel ervaar. Ja, en dit is nou... When we get, uh, when we continue with this, what are we to do? How do we see it? Is it now not the devil tempting us or not? Now the tempter is there. And this is what the Lord says to, said to Cain in uh, Genesis 4 verses 7. Uh, let's just, just go there. This is what the Lord said to Cain. Remember, uh, Abel gave the uh, uh, sacrifice to offer his best to the Lord. And Cain just uh, 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 sacrificed or offered brought an offering of some of the fruit, not oh. just, not the best of his fruit. So there's yes. a problem in his heart. That is Genesis 4 verses 7, uh, from, uh, actually from verses 9. And then, um, uh, uh, um, because 
God did not respect Cain's uh, uh, sacrifice and offering, but Abel's, his countenance uh, fell and Cain got despaired. <laughs> he got troubled in his heart. And eventually the Lord said to him in verse 7, If you do well, you will, uh, will you not be accepted? And if you do not well, sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. So the devil is in this world. The roaring lion is in this world. Yeah. And his desire is there towards each and every yeah. single person's soul. Now the sinner is got in his clutches, but you as a child of God, Amen. he wants you to go back to your old sinful ways. He wants you to fall back. And the sin is there all the time. And we're going to talk, to, talk about something more uh, deeper than just sin that we classify as yeah. sin. But it is there. But you, you must overcome it. You must be vigilant. You must be sober to overcome the sin that are lying there, that are there every single day. It's not as if sin all of a sudden uh, were produced after your spiritual rebirth. It is just there all the time and it is there to entice you and tempt you to make you fall away from the gospel. Now, since Genesis 4, verse 7, it, um, lees ons hier so, van Kain en Abel, Kain wat geoffer het, Abel wat geoffer het, so Abel het sy beste geoffer, Kain het net van sy goed geoffer, en toe die Heer en die Kain sy, sy offer aanneem nie, het hy sy kop laat hang, en hy het kwaad geword, en um, nou vraag die Heer vir hom, is daar nie verheffing, as hy goed doen nie, en as hy nie goed doen nie, die sonde le en loer, voor die deur, en sy begeerte is na jou, maar jy, moet daar oor heers. So die versoeker is altyd daar, die sonde is altyd daar, die versoeking is altyd daar. Dit, ver, dit vergaan nooit. En ons as kinders van die Heere voel, dat dit, dit eeuwenskielik begin, toe jy jou hart vir die Heere gegeet, want nou raak mens bewus van hierdie sonde, nou raak mens bewus van hierdie versoekinge, maar dit was altyd daar, mens het jou net die daarna gesteen nie, want jy was deel daarvan, maar eeuwenskielik leer dit nie so, en het is die hele tyd die voor jou, en jy moet daar weer begin heers. Now why do we fall for sin? Now first of all, when we go back, uh, um, and I just want to mention to, to you in Romans 7.21, Romans 7.21, let me just read a scripture there as well. And then we're going to go over to a, 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 a teaching of Jesus. Romans 7, 21. I find then a law that evil is present with me, uh, the one who wills to do good. So if we want to do good, if you if you have a desire to, good, to do good, and you are doing good by spreading the gospel and living a godly life, what happens? The evil are there all the time. While you are busy doing good, the evil are they. <laughs> sure. Romeine 7 vers 21. Ek vind dis hierdie wet, as ek die goeie wil doen, is die kwaad by my aanwezig. So die kwaad is altyd daar, dit verdwijn nooit. <laughs> as ons dit kan begryp vanavond en kan besef, joh, dan kom een mens vry in jou leven. Yes, so as ek die goeie wil doen? As die slechte teenwoordig. Yes. Altyd, altyd, altyd. altyd every time. Now, when we go back to Mark, uh, and Jesus uh, used a, cer a certain situation, Mark 7, and we're just going to read verses, um, I just want to read uh, Mark 7 from verse 21. Let us read from verse 21. Okay. From, for, from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murder, theft, covetousness, Wickedness, deceit, lewdness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these things come from within and defile a man. So here we see Jesus Christ describes and says, Evil lies within the, uh, the, 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 the heart of man. Now when, we go, when you go, read the entire chapter of Romans 7, you will see while the Spirit of God is in you, there is also evil still lurking in your heart now this is also and this is this is a thing we tend to forget this is the evil while you are doing good 
and maybe also ministering the gospel. There is evil in your heart as well. Amen. And it's lurking. It is waiting. The, 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 um, one of the expressions is, it means it crouches. In, in other words, it's waiting for you. And it's desire, that evil that are still in your heart, it's desire is towards you to remove you and make you fall away from the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's the sin in our heart that deceives us to do evil. So as we see in Mark 7 vers 21, want van binnen, uit die hart van die mense, kom die slechte gedagtes, um, echtbreek, hoererij, moord, dieverij, hoepsig, boosheid, bedrog, losbandigheid, afgins, lastering, hoogmoed, dwaasheid, al hier die boosheid, kom van binnen uit die mens, en maak die mens onrein. So dit kom van binnen uit die hart, so, wanneer jy jou hart vir die Heere gee, dan ontvang jy die geest van die Heere in jou hart, in jou, in jou sielse hart. Jy yes. ontvang dit. Maar in die hart is nog een boosheid ook. Yes. En die twee staan teen oor mekaar. En dit is waarom ons altyd voel, die slechte is altyd teenwoordig. Wanneer ek die goeie wil doen, wanneer die geest van God um, dring jou om die goeie te doen, maar dan is die slechte teenwoordig. Want die yes. slecht is nog in jou binnenste, is yes. nog in jou innerlijke. En dit, al die slechte dinge wat, wat jy nog doen, kom van binnen uit die siel uit. Yes. Die siel sy hart uit. Nie uit hierdie lichaampie uit, uit die siel sy hart uit, want dit is waar, dit um, basis sy vesting het. Yes. En dit is waar dit uitgeroei moet word. So, when you are in a certain situation, let's take a practical example. You are in a certain situation, and somebody does something that makes you angry. Yeah. Is that the person, the devil in him, that targeted you for the day, and say, I'm going to get Stanley today. I'm going to make him so angry, he's going <laughs> to fall away. But if I get angry to, towards that person's habit or yeah. behavior or whatever, or his words, then it means there's a problem within me. Yes. Not that person stays a sinner. He must conduct a certain way of life, otherwise he's not a sinner. Now, every sinner yeah. has his own behavior, attitude, character, etc. Now, it is when we, we get angry toward, uh, towards certain people and not towards others. It means there's the problem within my heart. So, when the situation presents itself, the evil that are there, the tempter that are there, it is my heart. The things that are lurking in my heart, that are waiting for me, lying at the door, and desiring to do that sin. And I, through the Holy Spirit and power of God, must overcome it. But if I don't uh, um, uh, 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 humble myself yeah. under the power of God on a regular basis and have a relationship with Him, I will have more difficulty to overcome that anger in my life as well. Wow, prijs die heren. My man, ek wil ook net gaan so vinnig iets sê, hmm. dat ons sien baie keer sonde net as uiterlijke dinge. Yes, amen. Um, ons sien het as uh, drink en rook en um, vloek en laster en al die dinge, soos uiterlijke dinge wat jy kan sien, wat, wat uit jou mond uitkom en wat, wat jy kan hoor en wat jy kan inneem, uh, um, uiterlijk en swaan. So mense kan sien jy doen in die sonde. Nou wat nou gebeur is, baie keer met jou wedergeboorte, dan word jy verlos van baie uiterlijke sonde. Yes. Jy drink ook nie meer nie, jy dans nie meer nie, jy vloek nie meer nie, jy, sikke dinge gebeur ook nie meer in jou leven nie. So baie, daar is baie uiterlijke verandering, verlossing in jou leven. Yes, maar, wat, en dit is wat ons nou hiervan praat, dit le, baie keer le die boosheid, die sonde, in jou hart. Want onthou nie, jy het nou pad gestap in die wereld, en jy het tot op een sekere ouderdom gekom, en daar is een karakter, een geaardheid, in jou leven opgebouw. En dit is wat in jou siel sy hart is. Dit is daar gesetel, die geaardheid wat jy opgebouw het, al die jare, yes. totdat die Heere Jesus Christus jou siel kom red het en verlos het, en uit die koninkrijk van duisternis kom uit al het in die koninkrijk van licht. Maar nou sit jy nog met die sondige hart in jou yes. binneste, en die geest van God is ook in jou binneste. Yes. So nou staan hierdie twee teenoor mekaar, en baie keer, dan voel een mens, joh, 
Hierdie persoon is nou vandag op my pad gesteer om my nou te kom kwaad maak, yes. om my nou te laat val en te kom strykel. Die duivel versoek my nou dier hierdie persoon sy geaardheid en wat ook al die geval mag wees. Maar as een mens mooi kyk na hierdie dinge, as jy vir enig iets kwaad raak in hierdie leven, dan is die probleem in jou hart. Die kwaad is in jou hart, die agressie, die woede, wat ook al jy opgebouw het as kind tot en met groot mens tot waar jy tot bekering kom is in jou hart, so die probleem is daar, en dit moet uitgeroei word. Yes, and when we read in James, it confirms this, and let us just read James here as well, and of course we see, we always see sin only as this outward sin, maybe drinking and uh, uh, um, sinful ways, prostituting, and uh, there's a lot of murdering and stealing and theft and all those kind of things, we see that is sin. But there is a lot more towards wrong in our lives that cuts us off from God and makes us do, to do the will of the evil one and not of God. Now it says here in James 1, and we're going to read from verses 12. James 1 from verse 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the, receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love Him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does He Himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin when it is full grown, brings forth a death. So here James are writing to us exactly how we fall for temptations. Because the temptation is this. Say for instance, I was an alcoholic. When I came to the Lord, when I will come to the Lord, the bottle store and the pubs won't close. It yes. will be there. If I, for instance, walk or drive past a, a, a liquor store or a pub, that I, on my way to work every day, after my spiritual rebirth, that pub or liquor store didn't close. It just carries on. Yes. And I must, if I'm delivered in my heart, I will drive past there and it won't bother me. Yes. Now, it's the same case when it comes to our behavior, our ca character in our lives. And this is what my wife also said. It sometimes feels like, the devil has sent that person to me to yeah. tempt me. Now the temptation are always there. Yeah. You are sometimes in certain situations and sometimes in other situations. Yes, but it is always there. But if I have a problem within my heart, I will fall for that temptation. Yes, and sometimes when you look at a situation, you, you have like self-control. And, but inside there is a war, there's a fight within yourself. And maybe we can, sometimes we get to the point where we cannot exercise self-control, then we go over and, and, and act upon the desire in our heart, so we go, go, go over to action and do the sin. Mm -hmm. And this is what the Lord says, when you do the sin, you feel death, you feel, you, you feel troubled, you feel uh, um, miserable inside. Yeah. Um, and this is when sin got hold of us. But obviously when you go to the Lord, you confess, He releases you and He changes you and light is in your life once again. Amen. Jacobus 1 vers 12 Salig is die man wat versoeking verdra, want as hy die toets deerstaan het, sal hy die kroon van die lewe ontvang, waar die Heere beloof het aan die wat om lief het. Laat niemand as hy het versoeking kom sê, ek word dier God versoek nie, want God kan dier die kwaad nie versoek word nie, en self versoek hy niemand nie. Maar elkeen wat versoek, word versoek, as hy dier sy eie begeerlikheid weggesleep en verlok word. So, en jy het vir 15 ook gelees, nee? Uh, ja. Ja, hy sê, daarna as die begeerlikheid ontvang het, baard het sonde, en as die solle, sonde tot volle verontwikkeling kom, bring dit die dood voort. Nou, dit is wat ons hier van praat, dat hy sê, maar elkeen word dier sy eie begeerlikheid weggesleep en verlok. So, baie keer is daar een ding in jou eie hart, wat jou verlok. So, dit is wat my man sê, as, as jy bijvoorbeeld een alcoholist is, 
gaan een bottelstoor jou trek. Die een botteldrank gaan jou trek. Maar als jij niet meer die probleem in jou hart het nie, as het verlos is, als jij vrij is, kan een botteldrank recht voor je staan. En dit gaan jou niet versoek nie. Dit gaan niet maken dat jij val in strijkel nie, want die begeerlijkheid is nou uit jou hart uit. So die oomlik wat jy tot bekering kom, verdwaai die borrelstoore en al die zonde nie. Dit bly daar. Die versoeking bly elke dag daar, die borrelstoor bly daar, die sonde bly daar, elke lieve sonde bly daar, die pakkie sigarette bly daar, die, um, die mens wat jou kwaad maak bly daar, yes. dit bly voor jou. So die versoeking is daar, maar jy moet daar oor heers. Yes. So die begeerlikheid wat in jou eie hart is, wat maak dat jy val en strykel en wel die sonde doen, dit moet uitgeroei word. So jy kan nie die, 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 die um, probleem in een ander huise leven gaan yes. soek nie. En dit is wat ons baie keer wil doen. En ons het so mooi gepraat, so dat yes. we praat sê en bemoe sê. Yes. Want wat doen ons nou? Die persoon het my nou so kwaad gemaakt vandag. En hy het my nou so, en hy het my nou so, en sis en so. En dan begin ons praat, en ons begin praat, en ons praat. Yes. En dit is praat siek en, en bemoei siek. Want jy bemoei jou met die sondaarse lewe. Jy bemoei jou met dit wat hy verkeer doen en yes. recht doen. So een sondaar moet jou nie intimideer nie, want hy gaan sonde doen, hy gaan ongerechtigheid doen. Hy gaan um, nog steeds precies lewe soos wat hy yes, gelewe het. En dan wil ons eindelijk daarover begin praat. En ons wil daarover begin redeneer en skin en kwaad praat en al die dinge nou praat siek is eindelijk so skinner en kwaad praat yes, en anhou yes. en anhou en anhou want die versoeking gaan nou wees die persoon het nie verander nie, hy is nie sy hart vir heren gegeen nie, hy gaan ook precies die selfde mens wees, maar ons gaan bemoei ons daarmee so. en dit is wat die heren ons van wil losmaak en vrymaak en dit is wat ons baie keer nie verstaan nie, moet ek nou nie vriendelijk wees met die sonari, moet ek om nou wegskuif, moet ek nou dit en moet ek nou dat, en dit is die groot probleem wat ons mee sit, ons gaan bemoei ons met die sondaarse lewe, alledaagse lewe, dit wat hy doen, dit wat hy verkeer doen, wat hy recht doen, wat wat hy sê, wat hy nie sê nie, en dit is waar oor ons leven begin gaan, en het maal, en het maal, en dit is waar hy vechterije begin kom, dit is waar um, die, die um, begeerlikheid kom, wat my begin wegsleep, en verlok en verlei, en dit is waar oor ons moet heers. Ja, Chris, most of the time when we, when we uh, do uh, minister on a topic like this, we usually get an argument, now what about the sinner, aren't we allowed to talk to him, or be friendly to him, etc. While the Lord says, be friendly to everybody. Amen. Greet the person who doesn't greet you. Do good Amen. to your enemies. Pray for your enemies. Yes, yes, But yes. you know where the trouble comes in? We want to become, become toxic. We want to start to, be, to gossip. Instead of just being polite yes. and friendly towards the sinner, if it's a family member, etc., just we must be polite. We must be friendly. We cannot emphasize it over and over to all people. Yes. But the, the reason why we argue is because now all of a sudden we understand we cannot go and entangle ourselves, oh, our mind, man. our hearts uh, 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 with that sinner's problems we just want to talk with that sinner and become toxic and just talk because talk is talk not to really talk give a lot. talk a lot <laughs> not just not to give that person an answer from the bible we just want to go away and just gossip and 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 uh, overthink the other person and meddling ourselves in that person's business now, this is why we sometimes argue. Now, can I, can I, uh, can't I be friendly with a sinner? Be friendly, but don't indulge you. Don't entangle yourself with his stories. If he comes to you and he says he's depressed, etc., etc., he says, yes, you must give your life to the Lord. Yeah. You must repent. And God can uplift you. God can change you. God oh, can give you hope. Yeah. But we don't want to do that. We just want to keep on talking on a fleshly level and this is when we start to argue against the word of God. Because there's a problem within our own heart. Yes, my man, dit is die groot en baie keer <coughs> wil ons net praat, praat, praat en um, ons raak betrokken en ons kry jammer en ons raak betrokken in jammer gesprekke. Yes. In plaas daarvan, jy kan nie 
saam met een son daar begin praat en vir hom jammer voel en uh, begin meegevoel toon in sy uh, situasie en jammer voel vir so'n persoon en so aan nie. Jy moet aan wat sy situasie hy is. Met vriendelijkheid, met vriendelijkheid, met bedagsaamheid, kan jy wel die son daar nader en jy kan met wel met die persoon gesels en jy kan sê, ek verstaan jou leven is in die toestand. En ek sien jou lewe is in die toestand, maar weet jy wat, as jy jou hart vir die heren gee, kan hy jou lewe begin uitsorteer, hy kan jou begin losmaak en vrymaak en al die dinge wat jou so jag en pla en seer maak en al die type van dinge, dit kan hy begin genees en uitsorteer in jou lewe, in plaas daarvan, om in een pitty party saam met die sondaar in te val, want wat gebeur nou? En dit is wat mense nou vir ons vraag, mag ek nou nie met die sondaar praat op WhatsApp nie? Mag ek nou nie met die vriendin praat op WhatsApp nie? Mag ek nou nie met hierdie en en daai en praat op WhatsApp nie? Hallo WhatsApp, my dan nou. En dit is baie keer waar ons vastgevang raak. Want nou begin een mens betrokke raak in die persoonse moeilikheid. In plaas daarvan dat daar een oplossing kom. In plaas daarvan dat jy uitkom met die saak en sê ek verstaan precies wat jy vir my sê. Maar ons kan nie oor en weer bly plaat praat oor jou probleem nie. Daar is een oplossing vir jou probleem. En begin met die persoon praat oor die Heere, begin met die persoon praat oor wedergeboorte, en sou die persoon kwaad raak vir jou, en jou blok op WhatsApp, dan kan jy niks daaran doen nie, maar ons kan nie um, net om die mens te behaag, yes. bly aangaan met gesprekke nie, en dit is wat ons baie keer nie verstaan nie, dit is nie, jy gaan die persoon nou net sy meer afjak en laat gaan nie, Jy bring nog steeds die evangelie dier en wanneer die evangelie dier kom, gaan die persoon het of aanvaard of daar gaan een vijandskap kom. En baie keer weet ons eindelijk voor die tyd, yes. daar gaan een vijandskap kom. As ek met die persoon oor wedergeboorte praat of met om oor die evangelie praat, weet ek eindelijk al voor die tyd, daar gaan verdeeldheid kom. Yes, en baie keer wil ek nie die persoon verloor nie, yes. want ons voel dit is vir ons kostbaar. En dit is ook om ons nie vorder in ons geestelike lewe nie. Want dit wat moet afval, moet afval. Dit wat moet bijblij, moet bijblij. En, en saamblij, moet saamblij. En dan gaan jy begin oorwinning kry in jou geestelike lewe. Ja, yeah, because the main thing is we want to be in favor of men. Yeah. Whether it is sinful men or children of God. And we must decide, and this is what uh, Paul wrote to us in Galatians 1, and just going to mention to you, he says we must not preach a gospel to persuade men, a gospel that are coming from men and yes. try to be in favor and please men. And we, we live a gospel that pleases men. Yeah. Even if it's our family, even if it's close relatives or it were good friends of us before we were born again, we still want to be in favor with men. But if you can preach the gospel and minister the gospel in sincerity, in meekness, in friendliness, in politeness towards that person and that person still wants to block you or cut you out of his life, it is his problem. Because you cannot for the sake Amen. of a worldly person stay friends by twisting or ignoring things in the word of God. Amen. But because we have a problem <laughs> in our own life to gossip and to meddle ourselves in other people's business to be busy bodies the bible says we are like busy bodies what is a busy body you are busy with every person's problems you are not there jesus christ wasn't the busy body if somebody needed something specifically he granted him he sorted him out he gave him a sermon yes. or whatever the case might be and that person either accepted or rejected it. And there are, there are so many examples in the Gospels where people rejected what Jesus Christ said to them. They asked him what they should do. Wow. They brought their problems to Jesus. And he said to them, this is your thing. Yeah. This is what you must do. But because they didn't want to do it and still want to be in favor of men, they turned their backs against Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ never went after them yeah. and tried to, uh, 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 tried to gain their friendship again because they must repent. They must leave sin. And in that way, sometimes we still want to be in favor of the world. 
Amen. En baie so. keer het ons die geleentheid, wanneer iemand vir ons een vraag vraag, en vir ons raad vraag, om wel vir hulle raad te gee uit die woord uit. En natuurlijk, en ons sê dit baie, en ek denk, dit is wat ons as kinders van die heren baie keer nie begryp nie. Dit help nie om met een persoon wat nog nie tot bekering gekom het, nog nie tot wedergeboorte gekom het, kennis uit die woord uit te deel nie. Want baie keer wil mens, mense vertel wat in die woord aangaan, maar die persoon het nog nie tot wedergeboorte gekom nie, so die woord is nog dood vir die persoon. Yes. En het maak baie keer die persoon hard, yes. wanneer hulle hoor wat in die woord staan. En dit is wat my man nou sê, um, hulle kan Jesus toe gekom en hulle het hulle probleem na Jesus toe gebring. En Jesus het vir hulle gesê, dit is jou oplossing van jou probleem. En hulle moes dit aanneem en toepas en doen. En as hulle dit nie gedoen het nie, het Jesus nie blij terug gaan na hulle toe en gaan seker maak hulle sou okay, kei en het hulle nou die raad gevolg en weer met hulle gepraat en achter hulle aangegaan en dit is wat ons baie keer doen. Dat ons blij terug gaan na mense toe, wat nie die woord aanvaar op daar die sadium nie. Nou, jy moet altyd bid, en dit is wat mense altyd vir ons vraag, moet ek dan bid? Mag ek dan bid? Ja, jy moet altyd bid, altyd, 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 jy moet nooit op hou bid, vir niemand nie. Maar, mens kan nie bly, in een maling bly met een anhouse leven, anhouse probleem, wat nie die oplossing van die woord soek nie. Want mens kan baie vinnig achterkom, wanneer mens met iemand praat, gaan dit net oor storykies en praaikies en jammer kry en al die, my, baie mense wil jammer gekry word en wil yes. eigenlijk net in die drama lewe. Yes. Dit is eigenlijk so een drama lewe wat mense wil lewe. En mens kan baie vinniger achterkom, is dit wat die mens persoon wil hee of nie? En as jy sien dat hy nie die evangelie aanvaar van redding en verlossing nie, gaan aan, beweeg aan. Jy kan nie verder gaan praaikies maak nie. Yes, but keep on praying, and this is quite often when we talk about this, people say, aren't I allowed now to pray? There's a difference to pray for somebody and to be to be enticed in his problem, to be mingled and strangled in his problems. Jesus Christ never did. He came with a solution. He came with a solution. And either you receive the solution and you act oh. upon that solution. Yes. And when you reject that solution, then you reject it at when Jesus Christ went out. They rejected Jesus. Yeah. And it's now exactly the same. Yes. What is your problem today? This is the biblical answer. And if there is a biblical answer and a person refuse the biblical answer, you cannot go and walk after that person and start still seeking his favor just to know what is the next gossip story. Yeah. Because we want to gossip all the time. We are busy bodies. We want to be entangled in other people's business. Because when we then we feel good, and then we can gossip about things towards other people as well. Hey, now we must keep on praying for everybody. Yes, as I said, and my dear, I saw by my come that by the full ons, that is geestelike gesprekke. Yes. Wanneer mense as kinders van die here by keer by mekaar kom dan is dit een geskinner van mense se levens. In plaas daarvan het die mens besef, jo, hier is nie een geestelike gesprek nie. Ek is nou bezig om my op te hou met die ander ouse sake. So al wat ons as kinders van die Heere moet doen, is om die evangelie te verkondig. En dan kan jy niks verder as dit. Jy kan die, die, die antwoord in die woord vir die persoon gee. Wanneer die persoon sê, ek het die probleem, gee die oplossing, gee die um, raad uit die woord uit. En as die persoon dit nie aanneem nie, beweeg aan, gaan aan. Moe nie by die persoon bly en begin bemoeisiek raak met die persoonse lewe nie, want jy begin jou so omring met die persoonse lewe, dat jy naderhand in die toestand is. En dit is net so, as kinders van die heren, wat die mens in een skinner gesprek raak, oor ander mense, oor die meeste van die tijd sonders, oor wat in hulle levens aangaan, los uit, gaan aan, bid, gaan bedien die evangelie aan die volgende persoon. Ja, yeah, cause we want to be curious all the time. We are so curious, what happened there? I want to know what happened to that person. Did he get it or didn't he get it? And what we, we and most of the time we want to, we want to stay with the story until the worst thing happens. And yeah. you can say, yes, have you seen that person, that guy, that this family member, whatever, this and that and that. And this is why we still want to be uh, uh, in favor 
with people in the world. And even Amen. children of God. Children of God can be busy bodies within the gospel. And in that as well, we, this is what the Bible says, and this is what we are taught within the Christian Bible, that we must also help each other to come out of that Amen. busy body gossip, yes. toxic mentality. <laughs> Because it's yeah. in our heart. And this is what Jesus Christ said in Matthew 23. And let us just read it, two, three verses. Matthew 23, verses 25. Matthew 23, verses 25. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you cleanse the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of extortion and self-indulgence. Extortion is greed, and that uh, self-indulgence is unrighteousness. Blind Pharisees first cleanse the inside of the cup and dish that the outside of them may be clean also. So he, he says here that we must clean the inside. So if there is adultery in our lives, if there is gossip in our life, if there is hatred in our life or any other sin for that matter, yeah. it means there's a problem within our heart. And if we know what is the biblical answer, we must act upon that. And if you take the first step in faith, then God will help you to overcome that situation. But what happens as well, and we've heard of this past two and a half weeks numerous of times. You, you give the answer, now I'm going to pray about it and I'll sure. pray about it. But if the answer is biblical, sound and correct, the, the thing that you must go and pray about is say, Lord, I am guilty of this. Forgive me, please. And uh, as you are having a relationship with the Father, then you will have the courage to overcome it in the outward as well. Because in the, by acknowledging it, you are busy starting cleansing the cup your heart, the cup and the dish inside your heart, so that your actions can also be pure. Wow, that's mooi. Matthäus 23, verse 25. Where are you, scribes and Pharisees, who find this? Want jylle maak die buitenkant van die beker en die skottel skoon, maar binnenkant is dit vol roof en onmatigheid. Blinde fariseers maak eerst die binnenkant van die beker en die skottel skoon, so ook die buitenkant daarvan skoon kan word. Nou, wat gebeur hier so, is dat wanneer jy een probleem in jou hart het, dan moet dit uitgesorteer word, so dat jou optrede kan uitsorteer, so dat jou dade kan uitsorteer, want so, terwijl die probleem in jou innerlijke is, in jou hart, dan gaan jy die hele tyd verkeerd optree buiten. Die versoeking wat daar le en loer, jy gaan verseker daarvoor val. En dit is wat ons moet uitsorteer in ons harte. En as een mens die antwoord krijgt volgens die woord van die Heere, en jy sien, maar dit is wat die woord van die Heere vir my sê, dan moet jy dit aanneem en jy moet begin toepas. En baie mense sal vir ons sê, ek gaan nou daar oor bid. Asof ek nou eers moet gaan uitvind, is dit nou die waarheid wat jy nou vir my gesê het, uit die woord van die Heere uit. Maar wanneer die mens die woord van die Heere um, hoor, en jy neem dit aan, en jy begin dit toepas, dan onderwerp jy. Yes. Dan onderwerp jy aan God. Dan kan jy die duivel weerstaan, en hy kan van jou af wegvlug. So wanneer een mens um, geconfronteer word met die waarheid van die woord, en jy sit met die probleem, en jy kom achter, joh, dit is my probleem, en jy gaan naar die heren toe en sê, heren, ek is skuldig aan die ding. Ek verstaan vandag waar my probleem le, en ek wil my hart kom uitsorteer, en ek vraag vergifnis aan die, die dinge, dan neem jy die woord aan, jy maak die deel van jou leven, jy onderwerp aan God, want jy hoor sy woord, jy pas het toe, jy neem dit aan, en dan kan jy tegen die duivel begin staan, en dan kan hy van jou wegvlug. Andersens, as een mens dit nie aanneem, en um, deel maak van jou leven, en um, lief kry nie, gaan jy bly val vir die versoeking. Ja, yeah, and to submit and to humble ourselves under God, is not just while you are praying, because sometimes we can pray, and while we are praying, we are not even submissive and um, humbling ourselves under the power of God. Because when I'm guilty of something, say for instance, I never knew it was sin to steal and, I re and somebody ministered to me. Um, Stanley, this stealing of yours is wrong. This is where the scriptures is. And then I can go and I say, Lord, sorry, I am sorry that I have stolen things thus far, but I never Amen. knew. Oh, it was wrong. 
Then I start submitting myself under the Lord. I'm starting humbling to myself under the Lord. And then if I continue from there onwards, not to steal, then I live my life by submitting myself under the written yes. word of God. And this is, and then sometimes we think it is the devil sending people to us to entice us and to tempt us. But we don't want to accept the word. Amen. We don't want our ways to be changed. Because uh, one, of, uh, one of our congregation members said to us, we are, we are so comfortable with our own character, yes, with our own habits, with our own attitude that we don't want to let go. And if somebody, something happens that are contrary to our habits, and to our character, then we get angry, whatever the case might be. We reject That's that uh, what uh, th that teaching that was presented to us uh, in that manner. And then if we reject it, if we resist that, we are part of the adversary that resists the truth. And when the moment when you realize you are wrong and you confess and you start doing what the word of God says, and then you live a life of submission under God. Then He can confirm your life by delivering you and set you free. So my man, it is so um, that by the way, it's so easy met ons character, geaardheid, ons optrede, ons denken, ons ideas, and ons leven, eindelijk as die geheel. Ons raak gemakkelijk daarmee. En ek besef weer eens dat wanneer jy jou hart vir Heere gee en jy word gedoop, dan gee jy God die raag om in jou leven te begin in my. En die woord van Heere gaan met jou praat. En hy gaan met jou deel. En het gaan uitsorteer van dit wat verkeerd is. Want onthou nie, die geest van God is nou in jou hart uitgestort, maar hy sonde is nog steeds daar en is daar strijd. En die geest van Heere is daar om hierdie dinge jou te oortuig daarvan, so dat jy dit kan uitsorteer. En wanneer die mense thee staan, dan vorder jy nie in jou geestelike leven nie. En dit is wat ons nou gesê, dan staan jy altijd reed maar in jy hart loop, in jy hart loop, en jy maak jy self moeg. Want dit beteken niks nie. Maar wanneer jy jouself kan verneder, onder die krachtige hand van die Heere, wat is dit? Dit is die woord van die Heere, dit is die krachtige hand van die Heere. Hy praat met jou, hy deel met jou, hy sê vir jou, dit is wat jy moet doen, volgens my woord volgens my voorskrifte, en as jy gehoorzaam is daaran, al is dit hoe moeilik, en ek moet vandag vir jy sê, as een mens moet ons slaar op van jou karakter, is dit iets kostbaar, yes, wat jy moet laat gaan. Kostbaarste besitting. Dit voel baie keer, jyre, hoe gaan ek hierdie geaardheid van my kan het gaan, wie gaan ek wees? Hoe, hoe gaan ek opreid verder in die lewe? Gaan ek nog iets wees in die lewe? En dit is daai, karakter wat moet gaan, dit is die geaardheid wat moet gaan, want het is kostbaar vir een mens, maar dit is nou juist wat die Heere van ons verwacht, dat die ding moet jy prijs gee, en prijs is baie keer erg om te betaal, vooral in die evangelie, dat um, die evangelie van waarheid, en jy wil het volg, en jy wil het navolg, is nie cheap nie, dit is duur, En dit is die lewe wat jy moet prijs gee. Dit is jou innerlijke um, besitting wat jy moet prijs gee baie keer. Die kostbaarste, kostbaarste, want jy is iets. Jy tree op een manier op en dit het jou aansien in die lewe gegeen of het jou iets gemaakt in die lewe of mense um, ken jou op een manier en hulle sê dit is nou wie jy is. So die ding is vir jou kostbaar. En dis wat jy moet laat gaan. En ek sê vir my man, baie keer as jy gaan altijd laat gaan, dan weet jy nie wat jy nou moet wees nie. Jy weet nie hoe jy nou moet optree nie. En baie keer kan een mens nou weer een ge ander geaardheid aanneem, wat ook nie van God af is nie, want geen geaardheid is van God af nie. So wat moet jy doen? Jy moet gaan onderwerp in die woord en kyk wat sê die Heere vir jou. Hoe moet jy uitsorteer? Yeah, the most valuable asset we have in our life is our character. I mean, we've been ministering to... Um, Bums, I don't want to just want to get the proper word there because it's not tramps. And they're lying in the street, they have nothing, homeless people. And you ask them to they give their life to the Lord and they still refuse. And I've many a times I've asked tramps, why do you have to lose? You've got nothing. You've got only a bag of filthy clothes yeah. and maybe a blanket. That's all, that's all that you have and an ID. And 
As time passed, I realized the most valuable asset in your life is our character. Yes, sir. And sometimes it is so strong, we yeah. don't want to let go. Because we think we're going to be ashamed. Yes, we think we're going to lose something. Yes, you're going to lose something. But what you're going to gain is much more. Amen. And we, and as long as we permit circumstances and people's uh, uh, remarks to intimidate us. Yeah. We may say, Lord, there's something in my heart. Maybe I'm a person that are like a control freak. Maybe I'm a person that can just get angry in a certain situation. Yeah. And we must let go. And I see here, uh, uh, Paula says, uh, she doesn't know what she's going to be if she, if she doesn't talk. But we must speak and blow the trumpet of the gospel of truth. Because we realize the things we are talking are it only vain babbling, talk sick, or what are our words and our conversations really about? God yes. never said we must be quiet, yes. but we must blow the trumpet yes. of truth of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Amen. moment when we realize we cannot babble anymore, then we say, okay, what am I going to do now? And it's not just one person that are guilty. Yeah. We all are. <laughs> I guess so. Every, I mean, <laughs> every single person. And this is what James also said. If a person can brittle his tongue, if he can control his tongue, he's a perfect man. Yes. And we all strive for that perfection to oh, control man. our tongue. And what does control our tongue mean? Don't talk at all. No. Talk the wisdom of God in meekness and in love. Wow. And this is what we want to encourage you. And yes. too often we blame. This is actually the moral of our sermon this, this evening. Um, we often just do blame shifting. It's everybody's problem because who I am. Yeah. But it is your, it is you that must change in your heart. Yes. You must today take um, what is found wordlike. Yeah. You must say, Lord, this responsibility for your own action. And the moment we need it, my wife and myself, we never blame the devil. We know when we get angry, whatever the case might be, in a certain situation we react, we say it is us. And Lord, we go to you, we confess, we submit. What does your word say? Says, and from that uh, from that moment, we strive for that holiness in that uh, uh, that part of our character Amen. as well. Show my man, it is amazing. You know, I think as we can understand, but by the time we are so intimidated, for when this is as of the sonder, the problem is as I feel fear, and then proud, 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 means that word. Ja, dit is as gevoel van dit, en dit is as gevoel van dat. Maar die versoeking is daar, dit blij daar, forever. Maar ons moet verander, ons moet uitsorteer. En die enigste manier om uit te sorteer, is om jezelf te gaan verneder en jou hart uit te sorteer. Yes. Dit gaan nie oor die sonder nie, dit gaan oor geen ander mens nie, dit gaan nie oor ander kind van die Heere nie. Yes, dit amen. gaan oor jouself. En dit is wat, wat, wat Stanley ook sê, ons moet nie nou eeuwiskielik stil blij nie. Nou moet ons begin gaan en sê, Heere, ek wil u behaag. So baie as is wat ek gepraat het en bemoeisiek en, en dinge was in die wereld, wil ek die evangelie verkondig. Ek wil dit uitleef. Baie keer kan jy dit nie met woorde uitleef nie, maar wel met jou optrede, wel met jou voorbeeld. En baie keer word mense gewin dier jou voorbeeld, dier jou vriendelijkheid, net vriendelijkheid, word mense baie keer getraak. En mense het al die idee van kinders van die heren wat nors en onvriendelik en ongeskik is en bombasties en al die dinge wat mense is in een gevecht 24 uur van mense lewe is mense is in een gevecht en die gevecht is die probleem in jou hart yes. want as die probleem in jou hart uitgeroe is kan geen sonde jou intimideer nie geen sonde ook kan jou intimideer nie niks wat iemand sê kan jou intimideer of wat in een persoonse lewe aangaan kan jou intimideer nie want dan kan jy deurbreek in die vryheid in die, van die Heere. Remember, um, um, sin, if you are a child of God, sin doesn't matter, you can be in the middle of the worst sin and place in your life. 
physically. You can stand. Paul, he ministered in a city in Athens. Amongst all those idols. But he did not permit and were intimidated by the idols. Yeah. Instead, he knew in his heart, these idols are worthless. There's no spirit in them. There's no life in them. There's nothing in them. Not even the devil himself is in that idol. And we sometimes think devils, the devil are in certain material things. The devil is a spiritual being. He cannot be in a material thing. Just on the side note there. So he never permitted to, for that idols to penetrate him and the sin around him to oh, penetrate yeah. him. But we permit it. That's, it doesn't matter what sin that person does. It cannot enter your heart oh, again. Yeah. It cannot make you sinful. If you are walking in the shop, for instance, and a worldly song is playing there, and nowadays when I... Yeah, the only time when I hear songs is in shops. And sometimes it's cursing in that music. Maybe our young people might know it. I've heard how they curse in music and it's socially be acceptable. But even that cursing cannot penetrate my heart if I don't permit it. Yes. But I, we make, as children of God, we let that those things intimidate us. Yeah. And if it can, if you don't permit it to intimidate you, you will walk out there a free person. Yeah, so let us, let God us intimidate. And as you know, um, this is what my mother said, come and say, you have looked now in the winkel, and you speak music, and you let to that it you intimidate, and you begin to sing, because the begeerte is in your heart, it's a world of music. This is what happens, the begeerte is in your heart om nog lekker uit tune saam te sing, dan gaan dit jou intimideer. Al sê hulle wat in die liedje of wat ook al, dit kan jou nie vervloek nie, dit kan jou nie weer um, penetreer as jy dit nie toelaat nie. So jy moet daar oor heers. Jy moet dit uitsorteer. En ons is baie keer so dat ons voel dat enige iets kan ons intimideer. Heers daar oor. Sorteer dit uit. En onthou dit, God is nie ons wapen nie. Yes. Ons denk baie keer, God is ons wapen. Die Bijbel is ons wapen. It's not so. Dis nie ons wapen nie. Ons het baie keer, en het is seer teg wat het ons hart uitgewerkt moet word, en ons gaan nou glad iemand aanvat of enig iets daar. Yes. Ons besef, dat mense kom uit sekere denominaties uit ons en dinge. Ons was wat daar. Ons was daar, ons het het ook gesê. Um, ek denk die eerste okay. ding wat jy gedoen het, was wapen dier gebed. Ja, die eerste groep wat ek geskep het, is uh, um, ja, gewet, gebedswapen. Ja. Wapen, so, die, wapen dier gebed, iets yes. is dit. So ons het ook gegloe, dat God is ons wapen, die Bijbel is ons wapen, ons moet daarmee vecht, en ons moet daarmee aangaan, en ons moet die duivel bevecht, en al die dinge, Onthou net, ons bly in een sondige wereld. Die hele wereld leer die macht van die bose. Die versoekings is daar elke dag. En dit is bang van jou af. Of jy daarvoor gaan, val. So ons gaan nie die duivel vech nie. Ons gaan hom oor win. Deer te onderwerp aan God en sy woord. En te doen wat hy van ons verwacht. En te verneder. And what does resist mean? Resist doesn't mean fight. Resist doesn't mean go in depression. Resist means you don't do it. Yes. You refuse to do it. That is what resist means. But if you are willing to do the will of the Lord, if you are willing to submit under the will of God as it is written to us, then you will have the courage from the word that strengthens you because you have received the word. Then the word in you will remind you not to do that thing, yes. and if you don't do it, it means you have resisted the devil. You've resisted the sin. So you don't have to go into a spiritual fight and war and yes. whatever the case may be. If you accept the word, you say, Lord, wow, this is amazing. To uh, We have the right to be friendly. Amen. We have the right to have hope in a hopeless world. You have the right to be joyful in a sad world. You have the right because the word of God gives us that right. The spirit of God is in your heart. Hallelujah. 
But when you submit and you say, Lord, if you hear all these troubles and moaning and groaning around you, you say, Lord, praise the name of you. Hallelujah. I'm on my way to heaven. Doesn't matter what's going on here. Then you submit yourself. Uh, and by not refusing to give heed to that uh, uh, um, conversation, and then you resist the evil. Praise Amen. the Lord. Because, because there's a problem in ours, that's when we fall for the intimidation of sin. Yeah, so as jy in die sonde oorwin, as het nie baar nie. Baar nie. Maar as het nie kleintjes kry nie. En jy oorwin, en jy gee nie toe nie, en jy weerstaan dit, dan oorwin jy die duivel. Dis hoe jy die duivel oorwin. Jy kan om nie gaan veg nie. Jy het in haar geval nie die mag om te veg nie. En die enigste tyd wanneer die duivel gebind word, is na die duisend jaar, dat hy gebind word. Voor die duisend jaar. Ach, sê ek na die duisend jaar. Voor die duisend jaar, dier die engel. So jy het nie die mag en die kracht om het te doen nie, maar jy die kracht om te oorwin. So wanneer jy die sonde oorwin en het nie baar nie klein babiekies in jou hart en word meer en meer en meer in jou hart nie, dan oorwin jy die duivel. So, 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 Oh, what is it? It bears. Yeah. Just, I can't think of English in it. It's like an uh, Afrikaans. Bears babies. <laughs> bears babies. Makes babies. Sin makes babies. <laughs> so if you don't root out the sin in our heart, then it must be inside. Sin, all sin comes from inside. It, it lurks. It peeps. It waits for us. And if you're in a certain situation, that sin in us just want to react. Yes. It's like the roaring lion. Yeah, I've all your, I've all your cry. Yes, and he, he, he makes you uh, feel uh, um, that you want to make war with somebody or just be angry or whatever the case might be. And he, your, your, your sinful nature is waiting, he's lurking, he's yes. waiting to be enticed. But oh. if you serve the Lord, he will give you victory over that sin in your life as well. And man, it's all come. As jy in die oogend wakker word, as jy jou oog in sy oog maak, dan is die versoeking daar van jou natuur. Yes, yes. Jou yes. natuur is daar. Ja, die versoeking is daar. Hy leer loer. Hy leer loer. Hoe gaan jy optree? Gaan jy mislik wees? Gaan jy lelik wees? Gaan jy beklui? Gaan jy vriendelik wees? Gaan jy opgewonne wees? Gaan jy ordentik wees? Gaan jy die vrug van die geest uitleer? So daai geraardheid, man, Jy, jy maak nog net jou oogies oop. Jy het nog niks gedoen nie. Dan is daar natuur daar. Onmiddellik. So dan moet jy daar oor heers. Jy moet het uitsorteer. As jy mislik voel, moet jy dit oor heers met liefde en vriendelijkheid en selfbeheersing en al hierdie mooie dinge, so dat jy die duivel kan oorwin, so dat die natuur kan vlug uit jou leven uit, dat jy kan klaar kry met jou, dat jy hom kan oorwin, en hoe meer jy um, oor die natuur heers, en dit uitsorteer, hoe vinniger raak jy van die bezigheid ontslaan. Ja, yeah, you don't lose your character when you sleep. When you wake up, the character is still there. And if you decide to act upon what God's words expects of us, because most of us wake up quite miserable. Yes. We, are not, we are nee. not the morning person. <laughs> but if you act contrary, yes. you know what, what it means. You resist the devil. You resist that temptation. And that um, mislukke, <laughs> miserable. <laughs> miserable character flees from you. Yes. And if he comes back, you resist him again. And yes. so you carry on your whole day. And at the end of the day, why do we need to change? So that, we, so that we can reach people with the gospel. This is why we must change. So that we can reach people with the gospel. So that their souls can also be removed from the kingdom of darkness. Taken yeah. out of the kingdom of darkness. Yeah, this is amazing to think. When the people change, is this for the Koninkrijk of God. So that anders jylle gereed kan word. En die strijd is elke dag 24 uur dag daar. Dit, dit gaan nooit weg nie, want die duivel is, die hele wereld is in die macht van die duivel, so die versoeking is blij daar. En wanneer ek oorwin, wanneer ek nou besef, jo, ek kan nou nie meer sê, ek is nie een ochtend mens en wat ek al nie, wanneer ek vriendelijk opstaan en jy oorwin na die geaardheid, dan 
val je meer vrij verzoeking nie, dan vis het asof het nooit bestaan het nie, asof die karakter van misselijkheid in die ogen nooit bestaan het nie, maar dan het jy dit oorwin, jy die duivel oorwin, so hy moet van jou wegvlug, so dit is het amazing om dan te denk, ons verander, so dat die koninkrijk van God bevorder kan word, so dat ons die woord van die Heere met meer vrijmoedigheid kan uitdra, want dit is baie keer wat ons vrijmoedigheid steel, ons laat ons inbintimid dier dier sonde, dier ongerechtigheid, dier ons karakter, dier ons geaardhede, laat ons ons intimid dier, dier anderse sonde, dier anderse levens, dier anderse moeilikheid, laat jy jouself intimid dier, want jy mag nou nie opgewonde wees nie, want die ander persoon in die wereld is byvoorbeeld die probleme, dan voel jy, ek kan nie opgewonde en blij wees nie, want ek gaan nou liefdeloos lyk, as ek nou opgewonde en blij is, en die persoon het probleme, ons laat ons intimideer, gee hoop, dra hoop uit, die Heere kan jou saak vir jou uitsorteer, en dit is wat ons moet oordra, aan een wereld wat verloor is. I mean, we cannot become depressed on behalf of the world, that does not want to seek the Lord, if they don't want to seek the Lord, and be miserable and depressed, is their problem, but your life must be a witness, even if you see somebody in trouble, and the joy of the Lord is in your heart, the joy of the Lord is your strength, hallelujah, and then you can give hope to that person, and maybe with your actions, you can reach him, and he so can also change his life. What is that joy of the Lord, Songiki? Joy, 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 other one. The joy of the Lord, keep me in trouble, you know. Sorry, baby. Oh, Christ, dear. Was it a little bit of a scribe? Where is it? Um, where is it? Yes, let's go. Yes, it's up here. Yes, by you. Yeah, yeah, but I... I, You send it to me. I send it to you. Let's find it. Let's find it. Yes, my dear son. We want to let you sing with us. Yes, yes. Are you excited for a conference 2024? Have yes, you seen the photographs? Yes, it's a beautiful plek here. lekker, it's in the bosveld. There is a place in the place for the kids to play. They can hard loop. There is wild wat rond loop there. So. It is lekker amazing. It is rustig. We are going to have a heerlijke time here. There is a lekker kerk here that we can um, dienst hou en so voorts, lekker slaapplekkies, groot kom bys, ons kan lekker baie kossies daar binnen maak, <laughs> ons het alles daar gaan kyk en gesien vandag, so dis het amazing, ons wil allemaal opgewonde maak oor volgende jaarse konferentie, so as jy wil gaan, sê vir ons, en dan kan ons ook al so lekker bykie begin beplan daar aan. Kry jy my nie? Nee, I haven't send it to you, sorry um, my poppeloppies, I haven't um, send it to you, We, I've sent the ware liefde deel meer for you, but not the other one. Ah, oh, no, it's on your tablet, ach, it's on your phone. The dancing, the joy of the Lord, <laughs> the, dancing, the, dancing, the, dancing. Uh, the joy of the Lord is my, my strength. strength, the joy of the Lord is my strength, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Praise the Lord. Ons het om nou soms een bykie lekker. Ons het een liekie verander, wat sê dat die, die, blijdskap van die Heer,